Hi, I'm John Parsons with the Hawk Technical Training Center. This video will demonstrate installation of the TU-5200 lab turbinimeter and the TU-5300 and 5400 SC process turbinimeters. The installation process for the TU-5300 and TU-5400 SC process turbinimeters is essentially identical. The process includes seven basic steps. Gathering the necessary parts and tools, choosing the best location, mounting of the sensor and maintenance rack, installation of the desiccant cartridge, connection to the SC controller of choice, plumbing of the actual sample, and setup of the analog or digital communication outputs. Before getting started, make sure you've received everything listed in Figure 2 in the user manual. Note that EPA versions of the process TU turbidimeters also include a bottle of stable cow solution and a syringe for easy calibration. In addition to the instrument itself, you'll need the mounting bracket and the associated hardware, the maintenance rack, which by the way is only included with the TU5400 process turbidimeter, and the desiccant cartridge. Flow regulator, part number LZY963, is also included. It is used to regulate flow rate on the waistline and provides necessary back pressure to prevent air bubbles in some samples. In addition, a variety of necessary tools and apparatus will also be, will be needed. This includes a drill, depending upon how the instrument is to be mounted, bits for the drill, a tape measure, a level to make sure the instrument is mounted plumb and level on the vertical surface, a marking pen, a variety of Phillips screwdrivers, and screws depending upon the material that you're mounting the instrument on. In addition, quarter inch tubing and a ball valve to allow stoppage of flow is needed but not included with the instrument. The diagram shown here depicts cross-sections of water pipes where taps have been made to collect water for online turbidity analysis. The two examples on the left are poor since they collect water from the extreme top and the extreme bottom of the pipes. These are likely to collect air bubbles and or sediment respectively. Better options are shown on the right where the sample is drawn from the center of the pipe. This provides a good representative sample free from sediment and or air bubbles.